Hello guys, welcome to Learn with Vinky. Today we will see how to do uh, welding analysis. Here we will see how to create a welded joint, and how to mesh it, and how to perform structure analysis on the uh, welded joint. So, after entering into ANSI workbench, I have so many analysis. From this, I will select the static structure analysis. So, we are going to perform the structure analysis. So, in this, you can see. The engineering data has been taken already. Uh, the default material as structural steel. I don't want to uh, change it. I will leave like this. Uh, if you want, you can change. It's your uh, wish. Then you can see uh, in the third column you have a geometry. Right click on the geometry. We are going to create two bodies in this and we are trying to give the welding joint between them. And we will mesh it and we will perform the analysis. So now I will click on this new place climb geometry. So you can see after some time this place climb geometry has been opened. I will select this main view and I will draw a rectangle on this like this and I will give the dimension for this. 50 mm and again I will give dimension for this 50 mm you can create in other software also and you can uh, you can do perform analysis so as I am in ANSYS workbench so I am creating here if you want you can create in other software and import here so now the sketch has been completed. Now I will try to extrude the surface. Select the pull option and you can drag like this. You will get some surface. Make it 5 mm and press on escape. So the bottom part has been created. Now we will try to create uh, the upper part. I will show you. Click on the main view and sketch this. Dry a rectangle, something like this. It should not touch the surface because that is the area we are giving the welded joint. So now the dimension of this is 5 mm. Okay, then exit from here. Select the pull option and drag like this, something uh, like this. We are just giving an example, and after, uh, if you know all those things, you can perform uh, entire analysis. So, now as of now, we will, we will take uh, two part bodies and we will try to make it as surfaces. You can see prepare option mid surface. I will select this face and uh, this face. After selecting these two faces, this tick mark has been activated. Click on this tick mark. You can see mid surface has been appeared. Then again, select the mid surface. Select this face and this face. And again, select the tick mark. Again, this mid surface has been activated. Now, it has been completed. You can see the two surfaces. In between the two surfaces, we will give the welded joint. So now everything is done. The geometry part has been done. You can click on the close button. So you can see it has been saved now. So we are re entered into the workbench page, workbench schematic, project schematic uh, page. In this, we will double click on this fourth row model. So now the model uh, has been came. You can see the two surface which we have created in the place cam geometry has been appeared here. You can see the first surface and the second surfaces. We will give welded joint between these two surfaces. Now I will right click on the mesh and insert weld here. Weld here. I will chain these two edges. 
and I will select this edge and I will click on apply. Before that, I have to go to mesh and make this as prime mesh. And here, uh, here, here I will I will show you the one type of mesh and I will show another type of mesh, another type of welded joint. Now this is one type of welded joint which is normal welded joint. See, look how a normal surface will come. It look like this. I will show another type of joint which is just something like a triangular shape. So now I will click on the mesh button, generate mesh. So you can see uh, the meshing has been done and the welded joint has been appeared along this surface. So this is the normal meshing. I will show another type of mesh, a triangular one. I have to go to the weld. Before that, I have to clear the meshing. What I did earlier, I have cleared the generated, clear the data. Then I will again go to mesh and I will select here normal and angled. And here I will select uh, angle direction both. And here change to width based to angle based. Then if you want, you can change the angle and the mesh size uh, according to your requirement. Now I will leave like this. I will go with the default generate mesh. You can see earlier it was something uh, surface. Now it has been turned to a triangular shape build something like this. So now it is okay for me. I will proceed with structure analysis. So here you can see, I will right click on this structural, then I will click on the fixed support, here it is, then I will select this one and this one edge and I will click on apply. So you can see the support has been given in the both directions. Now I will click on analysis setting, I will insert a force here on this surface apply i will give 1000 newton you can see the the force is in in this direction right hand side direction i don't want this i want force should be in the left words so i will give the minus sign so it has been turned to left side so the force has been given the fixed support has been given but here still it is showing question mark. We have missed something here. Here we have missed the material of weld. We will give this one. Structural steel. Now it's fine. You can see there is no question mark here. Now here in the solution tab, I will right click on this. I will I will see the stresses. And I will see the deformation. And that's all. We are done with this and we will click on the solve button. So the, the solver will going to solve this solution and it will show the results. So now it has been completed. Now I will show the stress, stress values which is around 183 exactly here above the welded joint and I will show the deformation 0.29 here you can see uh, I will show the animation also you can see the animation so this is how we can perform uh, the welded analysis like how to give welding analysis and this video covers how to give welded joint and how to mesh it and how to uh, do the structure analysis on welding joint. So I hope you have you have clear now. So thanks for watching this video uh, till the end. And uh, I have a request for you. Uh, you can see my videos. I have done a lot of videos on CAE, CAD, KTA and science videos. You can see 95.
99 percent of people are watching without subscribing uh, please try to subscribe uh, my channel and stay tuned for more in interesting videos